Are you ready for some janky ass code? Good news, good news. I've got some janky ass code for you. So anyways, as you know, I've been working with my OpenCV project, trying to figure out a way to make my little robots more efficient at tracking down Louis Rossman and taking him to the ground. Uh, this is my billion dollar technology idea, create an anti-Louis Rossman drone, sell it to Apple for a billion dollars. I get a crap ton of money. Anyways, uh, we've been working on a lot of things lately. Uh, basically, uh, getting my little vehicles to be able to actually see the Lewis Rossman's logo, getting them to be able to track and try to follow Lewis Rossman's logo in real time. And we've been having some some weird issues. It works. It works, actually. Just not great, right? So I created a web app. So the web app allows me to upload images uh, and basically use a, a cascade filter to scan through those images and show me what it's seen. So we've done that type of thing. And one of the things we found that was kind of interesting is that uh, pictures, uh, OpenCV does a great job at seeing Lewis's uh, logo in pictures. Maybe it doesn't do such a great job in video. So one of the things that I thought about, again, when you think, when you're trying to solve a problem, one of the questions to ask yourself is what are you actually trying to do, right? So what is video? When I see say video, what does that mean? So video, you normally think about like an MPEG video stream. But one of the things I was thinking about is like, well, no, I just really basically need pictures taken really quickly. And so maybe, maybe it's better to have a higher quality picture image than it is to actually have a video feed. So one of my thoughts was, hey, instead of running OpenCV against a video stream, what if we just started taking pictures really quickly? If you take a picture uh, with a camera, generally you get a better overall image than you get a, than when you have a video file because uh, it has a little bit longer to actually process that image. So what if we just started taking pictures really quickly uh, and processing OpenCV off of those pictures and then having the vehicle move that way? So that's kind of one of my thoughts. And so that's where I've been working on this little script today. Uh, the main thing I was working on is getting this damn webcam. Getting the webcam to work on a MacBook with Ubuntu is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Can I be honest with you? I'm not really sure why it works. It is working. <laughs> the webcam is working. I'm not really sure what I did to get, make it work. <laughs> I ran a lot of commands. One of those commands got the webcam working. Anyway, so main thing I got to do today was getting the webcam working. But then after that, uh, I basically hacked together this little script, copy and pasted and hacked this thing together. Uh, and so basically what this is going to be doing this is going to be continuously uh, taking a picture uh, with the webcam, right? So we have a uh, import uh, CV, so open CV. We have the cam port at zero. We're going to video capture. We're going to capture uh, at the cam port, uh, and then basically what we're going to do here is we're going to just we're going to show. Uh, uh, we're going to show uh, the image. Uh, we're actually going to save the image uh, to the uh, to the to the computer. Uh, we're going to wait 180 milliseconds, uh, and then we're going to destroy. <laughs> to destroy the image. Uh, and if we do this, if we do this, uh, this is what we get. So do this. And I always do sudo when I'm doing these tests to make sure I don't run into root problems or whatever. Uh, so yeah, okay. So this is this is what we're getting, right? Again, that whole question of uh, what is what is uh, what is video? What is video? Um, and so basically, this is taking the images uh, really quickly. So it's taking pictures really, 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 really quickly, uh, and then it's saving it to the drive. Uh, one of the things that's also burning up resources though is not only is it saving it but it's actually creating. So it has to create this little box to show us what's going on and then it has to destroy it. So that's that's taking some processing there. Uh, but this kind of gives you this kind of gives you a bit of an idea of uh, how this will work. Again, there's a lag. Uh, there is still a lag with it. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Um, that, yeah, this is where we start. That's one of the curious things too. Like after a little while, uh, if there's something with the resources, it starts janking out a bit. <laughs> so that's one of the things I will have to figure out at some point. Yeah, that just that just totally died. Because um, what I had before, what I had before 
is um, I actually had this down a lot lower, so down to 100 milliseconds. So 100 milliseconds would be taking uh, an image every tenth of a second, so 10 images, uh, 10 pictures per, se per second. And again, this is where you gotta think about like with video. What are you really looking for with video? Do you need video or do you just need pictures really quickly? So I had this down at 100 milliseconds and we can see it fart out a lot quicker. Uh, so for here, I do the same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, see, it's, it's, there's a, it's, it's a lot better performance, um, but it's gonna, it's gonna fart out here pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, there we go, we, so we already start to see the failures. Um, so again, that's, that's kind of one of the things I'm trying to, trying to figure out here. So my thought is, my thought with this code, essentially, is so now that I have this going on, right? So basically what I would do is I would comment out the image show. I will comment out the image show, um, the image write. So this actually writes it to the, uh, to the computer. So what I would do, I would do something in here where basically I would, I would write this, I don't know what I would do. Maybe like with the image, with the image, I would uh, put the cascade filter against the image, then I would write the image to the folder, and then to a text file, I would append to the text file the image name uh, with the coordinates of the items that were found. Uh, maybe that would be the way to do it. So like with the image, basically the image name, I would simply do like a timestamp type thing. So. Uh, uh, so as the, the timestamp goes up, every, every image uh, gets a little bit different timestamp. That would be a way to give a unique image. Um, and so, yeah, so we wouldn't have the windows. So there'd be no M show, there'd be no window. Uh, we would add the open CV uh, detection. And then with that, you know, based off of what's detected, maybe pass that to a different Python script to make the vehicle move, or maybe have the vehicle move all within this script. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, uh, you know, that's the, that's the thing to think about. That's, uh, that's all the different stuff to, to ponder. Uh, but this is kind of cool, honestly. Uh, again, depending on what you're doing, uh, this might be uh, something that you want to play with. Because uh, again, like, uh, like imagine, imagine if you want a surveillance system, but you don't, oops, no image detected. Eh. Uh, close terminal. Uh, imagine, um, that's weird. Um, hold on a second. Imagine if you wanted a surveillance system, uh, but you didn't really need video. You didn't really need video. You didn't really need audio or anything. Uh, you just wanted to know, whoops, well, something's going on. <laughs> Something is going on. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, uh, but you just wanted like an overview of, um, yeah. Weird. Anyways, you wanted like an overview of, of what was going on. So let's say uh, you had a warehouse facility. So you don't need 30 frames per second. You don't really even need one frame per second. You just need a general idea of you know how many how many trucks are in the loading dock, something like that. Uh, having having your system actually take much higher quality still images versus having a video feed that might be useful for you in a lot of different ways. Uh, again, um, think about this too for like processing images after the fact. So let's say you wanna take a lot of pictures now. So every second or every five seconds, you take a very high quality picture. And then a month from now or a year from now, you run uh, machine vision algorithms over those old image files that were created in order to do things like learning or to start to understand like historical information, that type of deal. Uh, that's some things to think about. I don't know why this is futzing up though. That's weird. Will it still futz up? Will it still futz up? We'll try this one more time. One more time. And then I will say, I don't know what's going on. Yep, no image detect. <laughs> Anywho, okay. And with that, I'm going back to troubleshooting. See y'all later.